Jody Cohen is our correspondent from Israel. Jody, are you safe? Hi, Eric. Um, I can say that I am in a shelter, but I am hearing regular loud booms just outside the shelter um, window on top. Beyond the window, there's like a metal door and we're hearing regular booms and really loud booms. So I know the, the United States said to expect that this attack would be similar to Iran's attack in April. But I didn't hear um, booms of this nature at that time. And also in April, we didn't see simultaneous sirens fire, uh, go off across the whole of Israel at the same time. So this is a very much a large scale attack. Um, IDF spokesperson Daniel Hagari said to expect it to be wide in scope and officials have said to expect a significant night. Mm -hmm. Jody Cohen, we are seeing a sort of a lull from the rockets. No, no, no. Let me say that again. The rockets are still uh, heading towards Israel. These are live shots from Tel Aviv. Iran has gone ahead with its threat and it's firing rockets towards Israel. And we do understand that the Israeli defense minister did say that uh, the iron defense system is ready and capable to defend Tel Aviv and to defend Israel from these rocket attacks or from these rockets and missiles. These, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, is live in Israel, happening right now. Our correspondent is sheltering at the moment. Once again, if you're just joining us, this is live from Tel Aviv. We do understand that um, Iran has gone ahead with its threat of launching rockets towards Israel. And the defense, uh, the Iron Dome defense system is already at work, as you can see on your screen right now. We were speaking to our correspondent, Jody Cohen, um, earlier. Jody Cohen, if you're still with us, uh, what can you hear? What, what is happening right now? So right now we've we're sitting in the shelter everybody has been told to stay in their shelters until they're notified otherwise and um, we have been hearing many booms overhead um, we know that the IDF spokesperson Dan, Daniel Hagari said that Israel is at a height of readiness and that Israel and the United States are working together to watch these developments closely. And earlier, um, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has said that the U.S. would help to defend Israel against an Iranian attack. He also said that Iranian fire would have serious consequences. And Israeli President Herzog said that the international community needs to put pressure on Iran to bring harm to the region. We also know that Foreign Minister Katz, um, about half an hour ago, it was announced that he was holding a meeting, presumably online with ambassadors all around the world, um, Israeli ambassadors, to prepare them to let them know about an Iranian attack. Now, if you hear noises in the background, it's because my um, family members, everybody on their phones have got alerts. You can hear that's just gone off. Alerts um, of of sirens warning of in, incoming uh, rockets and missiles. Now, we've been hearing as well that Iran has fired more than 100 missiles towards Israel simultaneously. At the same time, just as this was starting, there was a shooting attack near Tel Aviv in the city called Jaffa, which is right next to Tel Aviv. Two terrorists got out of the light rail and um, there are multiple casualties uh, reportedly there, at least 10 people hurt. So we're waiting to hear more about developments there as well. Could you repeat that again, uh, Jody Cohen? We, uh, we, are there any casualties uh, so far? Are there injuries so far that you're hearing from your end? So that is still breaking news. But what we have, at first we heard that it was a suspected terrorist attack, that there was a shooting. We heard um, then that it's been confirmed it was a terrorist attack, that two terrorists got out of the light rail train 
at the Jaffa station. Now, Jaffa and Tel Aviv are literally meters apart. It's just one long strip, basically. And um, there have reportedly been at least 10 casualties in that shooting attack, which occurred um, simultaneously to when the sirens went off across the whole of Israel. All right, that, Jody Cohen is our correspondent in Israel. Jody Cohen, stay with me. I know you are taking shelter. Please stay safe. This is breaking news from uh, Israel, and we do understand that Iran has already gone forth with its threats, and it's firing rockets and missiles towards Tel Aviv, towards Israel. We did have a statement from the IDF spokesperson. He did say, and I'll read part of the statement to you, a short time ago, missiles were launched from Iran towards the state of Israel. You are asked to remain vigilant and follow the home front command's instructions precisely. In the last few minutes, the home front command has sent messages to mobile phones in certain areas with life-saving instructions directing people to enter protected spaces. You must reach the safest protected space in your vicinity upon hearing a siren immediately enter a protected space and remain there until further instructions are given. The air defense system is fully operational, detecting and intercepting threats wherever necessary, even at this moment. However, the defense is not hermetic and therefore it is essential to follow the home front command's instructions. You may hear explosions, which could be the result of interceptions or impacts. I'm actually reading the whole statement because it is very impactful uh, to some of the um, residents who are living in Israel at this hour. And this is a statement from the uh, Israel Defense Forces. Due to the variety of threats, alarms may be triggered in widespread areas. Stay updated on the instructions via the official pages of the Home Front Command. Once again, I say the Home Front Command and the IDF spokesperson. Continue to act responsibly and keep calm as you have done so far and make sure to follow the guidelines. We are strong and can handle this event as well. This is a statement from the uh, Israel Defense Forces. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.